How to Solve the 15 Puzzle To follow along with this video using the 15 puzzle shown here, go to the Zoax.net video page at this URL. The board for the 15 puzzle consists of a 4x4 arrangement of 15 tiles and an open space that we can slide tiles into. The objective is to move the tiles from a randomized configuration into the solved configuration shown here. Our strategy for solving the 15 puzzle is straightforward. We begin by solving the first row and then the second row. Then we continue by finishing the first column and then the second column. Finally, we rotate the remaining three pieces to complete the solution. To begin, we randomize the board by clicking the start button. First, we locate the upper left corner piece. Next, we find a path for moving this piece into the upper left corner. To start moving down the path, we need to create an open space at the first square. To create this space, we locate the open square and find a path to the desired location. Then we click each square along this path. To finish the process, we continue to move the tile along the first path by creating a space at each successive location in the path and moving the upper left tile into it until the tile is in the upper left corner. Each movement typically requires moving tiles around one side of the upper left tile. With our first tile in place, we locate the next tile in the row and determine a path to its destination. This process is done exactly as it was for the first tile, except that we need to take care not to move the first tile out of its corner. With our first two tiles in place, we come to the tricky part of the solution. Instead of moving the third tile into its proper location, we move it into the upper right corner. Then we put the upper right corner tile below it. Finally, we empty the square next to the corner so that we can slide the pieces into place. One problem that can occur is that when we get the third tile to the corner, we might have the corner tile in the third tile's location. If this happens, we need to move the corner tile out and put the third tile back in the corner, then bring the corner tile back under it. That finishes the first row. We can put the second row in place by using the same procedure. First the first tile, then the second, and finally the last two are done just as before. With two rows completed, we go on to finish the first column. We do this by putting the third piece into the corner and putting the corner piece next to it again. Then empty the space above the corner and move the two pieces into place. The second column is done exactly the same way. Again, we mentioned that we could have a problem if the tile that we want to move into the bottom spot is already above it when the third tile is in place at the bottom of the column. If this happens, then move the tile out and continue as before. Once the first two columns are complete, we have three tiles left that may be out of place. To finish, rotate the tiles until they are in place. This finishes the puzzle.